Let's pray. Holy and ever loving God, you bound up our wounds, heal our sickness and restore us to wholeness. Help us to be sensitive to all who are in need or trouble, moving us so that we have a care for the suffering through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, we give you thanks for all who have helped us during the times of our own struggles. We think of all the places in the world who struggle daily with the things we take for granted. Those who are hungry, those who are cold and homeless, those who are living and being nurtured through violence and war. We pray for all of the aid agencies who give their time to helping others in need. Lord of compassion and love, deliver us from all evil. As we prepare for a return to what we see as normality in our lives, we pray for all those who have lost jobs or who are finding life difficult because of the effect the pandemic has had on their income and their lives. We pray for all those people still suffering from the effects of long COVID and that a pathway to recovery can soon be found. We give you thanks for all who have risked their health in caring for those who are ill, for all those giving their time freely to look after our well-being in providing a vaccination programme. We ask that you bless our homes with your love, that they may be places of gentleness and grace. And we pray, Lord, for those homes where there is violence and people live in fear. We pray for our church family here at Christ Church and we seek your blessing on someone to come and lead us in our mission to advance your kingdom in this place. Lord of compassion and love, deliver us from all evil. We pray for all those who are ill or suffering in any way. We pray for all who mourn the loss of a loved one, for all who are lonely or afraid, and we pray for people known to us who are in need of your healing love at this time. Lord of compassion and love, deliver us from all evil. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now we pray the prayer that Jesus taught. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen.